But this time it's with beef. So yeah, if you want to learn how to make it with beef, keep watching and my mum will show you. How many onions? Three. Is this for like a big batch or just just normal to that? If you like I like to use more onions in everything I do, so And with the beef, what have you done already? I seasoned it and I steamed it. And it's just on the side? Yes, on the side. Right. So it's steamed and seasoned. And it's it steamed before you steam it. Season the beef before you steam it. And then leave it on the side. Okay, so in here is chopped tomatoes, red pepper, onions and um, is it garlic as well? Garlic, ginger. Garlic and ginger. Fresh one. Fresh garlic and ginger. Um, if you want to know how to make this blend in more detail go and check out part one of this video on my channel. So now she's transferred the beef into another saucepan and the sauce, the sauce from the beef from when the beef was steamed is in this saucepan. She's just adding oil to another pan. This is the pan that the jollof rice is actually going to be in. That much. So now that the oil is hot enough, add the meat into the pan that you put the oil in. So you just need to fry off the beef. Now in the same oil, you're going to fry the onions. And you fry them till they're golden, right? Yeah. So just to clarify, after frying the beef, you take it out, put it back in here, into a dish saucepan, and then you fry the onions in the same oil until they're golden. Now we're taking about half of the tin of tomato puree and the tin is 142 grams. And we're putting that into the onion, the onions that are frying. So what's this? Tomato. Like, it's just the really tomato puree and onion. Oh yeah, now going to put it in. Now you're going to add this. Garlic. Garlic. Ginger. Ginger. Chinese five spice. Chinese five spices. And rosemary. And rosemary. Now add in the tomato mix from earlier that we blended and continue to stir it. Okay, add in water 
and then leave it to simmer. Yeah. So leave it to simmer on high heat, and when it boils, about ten minutes. After ten minutes, put it on the lower heat. Okay. Yeah. Keep stirring on a low heat now. For another, for another five minutes and then you add in your raw uncooked rice. Wash your rice. This is about four cups of rice. Four cups of Tilda Basmati rice. Please make sure you wash your rice so it's not starchy when it goes into the main stew. Now she's going to in some chicken stock from, she's making barbecue chicken. Uh, we didn't film that today but if you want to see that, go watch part one. It's basically a repeating from there. So she's just adding that in because the rice needed water and yeah, just use the chicken stock water. Taste it. If you need salt, you put a bit. But me, I don't like salt so yes. Yeah. Good? Yeah, good. Beef stock. You can also add in the beef stock that you left on the side as well. Especially if you don't have the chicken because you didn't make chicken. You do just add the beef stock because it serves the same purpose. But we added both. So if you have both, add both. If you have one, add one. You should definitely have the beef one because obviously we just steamed the beef. So all of the liquid from the steamed beef, make sure you add that in. And yeah, leave to simmer. But yeah, come back every 10 minutes to check on it, to stir it, make sure it's not burning at the bottom. On a medium heat. That's the final result. Thank you so much for watching guys, bye!